Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna look at how to cut out a photo in Adobe Illustrator. Now, I'm gonna be honest right off the bat, this is not Photoshop. So it's gonna be a little bit different. You can't really cut into the pixels the way you want to, but we can give it that effect. So let's take a look at what we can do here in Illustrator when it comes to trimming and cutting, cropping, maybe even masking a photo. So I just snapped a quick picture of me here uh, from my webcam, and I wanna show you something first. When you click on any sort of image you have pulled into Adobe Illustrator, you can see in the properties panel, whether it's a linked file or an embedded file. Linked obviously just means that it's actually linked to a file on your desktop or your computer somewhere. Embedded means it's within the uh, Adobe Illustrator file itself. So that image is gonna be embedded into it and thereby increasing the size of the file, but it serves different purposes. So in this case, our file is linked, but you'll see how this matters here coming up soon. First things first, we can actually scroll down into some of our quick actions and crop image is one of our quick actions. This is a new Adobe feature, uh, Adobe Illustrator feature from a few years ago. And it also says cropping a linked file will embed a copy of the original. So no matter what here, if we do this crop feature, you're gonna be embedding the image into your document anyway. So we hit okay to that and we're given basically a rectangle that we can size and resize and scale to crop our image. So if I wanted to just a square right on my face here, I can do that and then hit apply in the properties panel. Now what it did here was it actually trimmed out the pixels. So I don't have the rest of the image anymore. This is just an embedded cropped version of my original image. If you don't just want a square because that's all we can do in the crop image feature, then we need to do a couple of other things. And these other things are more flexible anyway because we can actually do it on a linked image. So first and foremost, let's say you wanted a circle. Well, we can't crop it into a circle, but what we can do is create a mask. So grab that ellipse tool. It's over here, the shortcut key is L, and we can create a circle around our subject here. Hold shift to create a perfect circle. Once we've done that, I don't have any fill or stroke, so I'm just gonna put a yellow fill on that so we can see the circle grab my uh, move tool here, or actually the selection tool, and I'm just gonna move this around to about where I want it. And then if I click and drag to select both the image and the circle on top and right click, we can actually make what's called a clipping mask. Now this is like a mask in Photoshop. Basically, we've masked out anything outside of our shape. Uh, within this image here, but this is still editable. That's kind of the nice features of the masks. Still editable, we can double click into this and we can see up here in the layers tab, we're inside of layer one, inside of this clipped group. And this clipped group includes an image which we can now move around just by clicking and dragging. And it also uh, includes the circle path. If we double click again, Notice how far in we're here, layer one, clipped group, linked file. We actually are back to the original image. And we can click on these different areas. It's kind of like a navigation to go back and forth, or we can just double click outside of our image area to go back to our main setup where we can move this around. And a quicker way to move the photo around within the frame would actually be to grab the direct selection tool, shortcut key is A, and you can then just click on the photo and move it around without having to double click into the group itself. Now, does it just have to be a circle frame or a regular shape? No, you can create your own shape. In fact, you could use the pen tool to create a cutout of whatever you want on your image. So let's just back this up to the original photo one more time and let me show you with that pen tool selected, the shortcut key is P. I'm gonna switch this to a stroke so we can just see the line. I could start at my chin down here. Click and drag in the direction you wanna to go to start creating your curves with your pen tool. And we'll just click and drag to try to create basically the contours of whatever it is I'm cutting out here. And I can also just click, if I wanted to be quick, I can click not that many times. Let's undo a couple times here. I'm just trying to zoom in for you guys. I can actually just click without doing the uh, the click and drag if I just wanted to really quickly cut this out and not be super detailed 
and it's okay if it's just a little bit more geometric and squared off lines. So I would do that around the rest of the shape. Whatever it is you're cutting out doesn't have to be a face. I'm gonna scroll down here because I've already done this for you guys. So I've used the pen tool to do exactly what I was showing you on this one over here. We can then click and drag and just like what we did with the shape earlier, right click, make a clipping mask. The one important thing I wanna note here is that your shape or your outline does need to be on top of your image. That's what it's going to clip the image into, uh, whatever's behind that shape. So make that clipping mask and now we have just my face cut out. So you can get pretty detailed here uh, in Illustrator with cutting out images, but you'll have to create that yourself. Kind of like how in Photoshop you would create a selection or you might even use the pen tool to do the same type of thing. Here we're creating what's called a clipping mask, which is basically a mask and we're masking out anything but the shapes that we choose or that we create on top of that photo. Those are the best ways to cut out images here in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you learned a thing or two. And of course, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments section down below. Make sure you subscribe for more Illustrator tutorials just like this one. Stay safe, you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.